there is another time for your favorite program, The Power Circuits. From the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, this program keeps you informed about the operations of TCN and the role it plays in managing the national electricity grid. Here are the headlines of the stories lined up in this edition. Minister of Power, Engineer Maman, lots reduction in price of gas to power. TCN trains next batch of electrical maintenance engineers. TCN rehabilitates power transformers at Obela substation in Edo State. In the interview segment, the regional transmission manager of Enugu region at TCN, engineer Emmanuel Wani, will be speaking about how the company continuously sustains the bulk electricity needs of the region, whose operations cut across Enugu and seven other states. I am Amara Agogoesi, and this is The Power Circuit. The Minister of Power, Engineer Saleh Maman, has commended the federal government's decision to cut down the price of gas to power from $2.50 to $2.18 per standard cubic feet. The minister, who was represented by his special assistant on policy, Abba Aliu, at a gas stakeholder forum organized by the Gas Aggregation Company of Nigeria, GACN, and the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, in Kanu. He noted that the power sector uses more than 60% of the gas currently generated in the country to generate electricity, and as such, the price reduction will assist the federal government's goal of delivering sustainable power for the country. Earlier, the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Chief Timipri Silva, who declared the forum opened, announced that the price of gas to power has been reduced from $2.50 to $2.18 for standard cubic feet with immediate effects. Silva also noted that the reduction was an offshoot of a negotiation between the federal government and the organized labor. It is believed that the gas price reduction may have an impact on the price of electricity supply as most of the power generated on the national grid comes from the gas-fed power plants in Nigeria. The Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, has commenced another intensive training program for the second batch of electrical and maintenance engineers in the company to boost their operational skills. Engineer Abdulaziz, who was represented by the Executive Director of Transmission Service Provider, TSP, in TCN, Engineer Victor Adewumi, while declaring the training open in Abuja, welcomed the second batch of the participants for the training. In our industry, you know, engineering is a dynamic profession. So you have technology changing from time to time. The only way you can catch up with evolving technologies like training and to a very great extent your own personal efforts. For me, I always emphasize that personal development. You are going to be here for the next two weeks. The resource persons are here, the B line, WWS, and they will take you through so many things for the next two weeks. But half time two weeks. What comes up next? That's your own personal development. So I will expect that these two weeks you are going to pay attention to the training, but when you get back home, go back to Take your books, you can go back to your university days and see how you can personally develop yourself better. He said the participants are from the electrical maintenance department, protection, control, and metering department, and linesmen across the 10 regions of the company 
for the two-week training organized through a World Bank program. The TC enhancement further assured the participants that the management will support them in the best it can for them to succeed in the professional career development. For us, we are going to give you everything you need to succeed as engineers. And I want to really congratulate you because it is not easy working in TCN at this particular period in our country. A lot of you are working in a very challenging area. I have been to Marudumi. I know how difficult it is to work in that terrain. But we must be supply to Nigerians. I will allow insurgency to defeat us as a country. And I want to congratulate you for embracing up to the challenge of making sure you still work. These days, to mobilize people to the bush is not easy. You know, but we are still doing it. And I really want to appreciate you for that. He noted that TCN is procuring more equipment that will enhance the operational delivery capacity of the engineers just as the company is committed to providing the best bulk power delivery services in Nigeria. We are going to procure a lot of equipment for you, for you to be able to do your job effectively. We are going to procure a lot of maintenance vehicles for you. So let me welcome you to this program. This two weeks is going to be a very tedious one. So brace up for the uh, challenges, the lectures. Please, this is not the time to write about. Take advantage of this period. And I can tell you, be careful, be on something that after the completion of this program, some of you will be selected. We are going to select the best of the best. So strive to be among that 40 that you mentioned. The Executive Director of Human Resources and Change Management at TCN, Mr. Justin Ishaya Dodo, said the company is working towards becoming a world-class power transmission utility just as he urged the participants to interact and strengthen their bonds. I'm hoping that by the time we go back to the radio stations, uh, this will translate to uh, the putting that knowledge in his remarks, the General Manager Program Coordination at TCN, Engineer Joseph Chiroma, challenged the participants to put in their best during the training session. For those who will perform better, good, better, better in this training, are also going to be among the 40 next steps that are also going to be selected. So I want to believe that everyone of us should aspire to make sure that we select it to come back to the last week. On that note, I sincerely welcome all of you. Wish you the very best. It's an interactive section. The trainers are not so better than us in the field. So I will never exchange your ideas that are going to bring for what is happening up there and here. We can always marry the two together. So please feel free to ask questions when necessary. The power circuit continues after this. Do break. not build under transmission power lines for your safety and health. Electricity power lines and substations, either for power transmission or power distribution services, are extremely dangerous when exposed to direct human contact. These power lines and substations transmit electricity that lights up our homes and offices, power our computers, TVs, and refrigerators. On the other hand, the same electricity when exposed is extremely dangerous. It can shock, electrocute, and kill anyone on its way. That is why everyone must adopt safety measures whenever we use or are close to electricity facilities like power lines or substation or transformers. For the safety of the people and animals, governments all over the world have approved way leave or right of way of 50 meters for 330 kV power lines and 30 meters for 132 kV power lines and for 33 kV lines the way leave is 15 meters. People are not expected to be found within this way leave or right of way for safety reasons. The lines can suddenly cut and fall to the ground with very disastrous consequences such as fire and electrocution of anybody and destruction of anything, be it vehicle, 
houses, or vegetation on its line. It has also been established that power lines and substations emit electromagnetic fields, EMF, which is dangerous to human health. The World Health Organization, WHO, has warned that people who spend long hours under or close high-tension lines stand the risk of being affected by EMF and be vulnerable to cancer leukemia in children, miscarriages among pregnant women, and other terrible diseases. It is therefore advisable not to build any structure or operate any business under or near any electricity high tension lines or substations. TCN wants you to stay alive, stay safe, stay healthy, avoid power lines. This message is from the management of Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN. Towards keeping with its expansion goals, the transmission company of Nigeria, TCN, is rehabilitating power transformers at the 132-33 kV Obela transmission substation in Edo State. The power circuit was at the substation where the supervisor spoke about the operations and expansion works. Manager System Operations and the Obela transmission substation supervisor Engineer Nemo Maxwell gave an update about the operational activities at the 132-33 kV Okwela transmission substation, which he said has a 60 MVA power transformer that can deliver up to 45 megawatts of energy within the coverage area. That the station was constructed about 1981, 82, 83, but it took effect from 1986, where it was commissioned. And during the period it was commissioned, it was only the Bender Cement then, today Boa Cement Company, that was powered from here. Until in 1991, the community of Okwila and other environs got their supply. We can be able to pull up to 45 or 50 thereabout in between. He however noted that TCN is rehabilitating three more power transformers which will help to boost the substation's capacity when they are fully energized. We have other transformers that were under rehabilitation. It has not been energized. So we have three types of transformers here, two of 15, 15 MVA by two and uh, 60. The substation head of TCN also identified the various coverage areas of the facility within Edo State, including residential communities as well as an industrial area. We will power to open our township that goes across Axis to Ososo, Eruru, Unemeruru, and uh, some areas around the Gara. And again, we feed up to Awuchi through the Oshomole, gov former governors uh, village Oshomole, Yamo, Uloke, Elele, Jetsu, part of Awuchi and other environs. Okay, Still to come on it is uh, the cement factory, Boa Cement, that is still receiving power from us here. He further spoke about the progress in the expansion plan of TCM for the power transmission substation. They made an uh, expansion of it three years ago, which brought about the 60 MV transformer I am mentioning. Otherwise, before that expansion, we are having a 15 MV transformer, which, is, which was in service, but today it's faulty, and they are maintaining it. TCN has continued to sustain its maintenance culture across its facilities nationwide. This was confirmed by engineer Maxwell, who stated that routine maintenance is key to the efficiency of operation of the Okwila transmission substation. You're welcome to the interview segment of the Power Circuit. The Enugu region of the transmission company of Nigeria, TCN, is one of the 10 power transmission regions in the country. The region manages the transmission of bulk electricity in Enugu, Benue, Anambra, Enebonyi, as well as partly in four other states. In today's interview, the regional transmission manager of Enugu region, engineer Emmanuel Wane, speaks about how the company continuously sustains the bulk electricity needs of the region. In terms of power transmission substations, 
Can you identify those under the region? We have several workstations or substations in the Edugu region. When you come to a place like uh, Edugu sub-region, we have the New Heaven TS. We have uh, Uguaji TS. We have uh, Kalago TS. We have uh, 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 Soka TS. We have a Bakliki TS. And uh, we, you know, this night mile is also coming up. Uh, initially, night mile used to belong to Odisha, but I think it's coming up now. I uh, belong to Edugu. So these are the the uh, transmission stations that we have in uh, in Edugu sub region. When you go to AP sub region, you have the AP self, you know. Then you have your dev, you have Otupo. And uh, about one or two other ones coming up there. They are proposed uh, projects that are coming up. Then when you go to Odisha, we have in Odisha, we have Odisha TS, which is in Awada. You know, then we have um, Asaba TS, we have Abo TS, we have uh, Dibo, Oka Dibo TS, we have uh, Oka Agoka TS. We have uh, Oji River, yes. There are other ones that are also being proposed. What is the bulk power wheeling capacity of the region? The Edugu region is very vast. It is very, very vast. In terms of wheeling capacity, we are capable of wheeling 1,032 megawatts. However, this is just the capacity that we have. But we always rate ourselves so that we won't have any problem. We rate ourselves with uh, 80 to 85 percent of that capacity. So 80 to 85 percent capacity will give us 887.2 megawatts. We are capable of that. And our systems, our equipment are there. They use. Meanwhile, on daily, you know, because of uh, uh, the the level of uh, generation. On a daily basis, we get in the neighborhood of 330.76 uh, 300, uh, megawatts on a daily basis. Then uh, you ask about uh, the areas of coverage. Yes, we have the areas of coverage are really very wide, you know. We cover uh, about four states fully, four states fully. Then we have up to another four that is partial. So we have Edugu state, we have Adabra state fully, we have a boy state fully, we have Bedway state fully. Then we, we, you count all these other ones like Kogi, you know, partial, you know, part of Kogi, part of uh, uh, Delta State, part of uh, Taraba, and all that. These are the places where part of it is being supplied by this transmission. Then, fully, uh, to conclude it, we serve three uh, distribution companies. We serve Edugu Electricity Distribution Company. We serve BD Electricity Distribution Company. We serve JOS uh, Electricity Distribution Company. So we are we always uh, here and there answering questions, trying to attend to them and all that. And we thank God that we are meeting up. What are the most recent projects TCN has executed in the region? Now that I'm here, I have commissioned the uh, CCMVA transformer at Yadev. I have also commissioned the 75 MX uh, reactor at AP. You know, that's all. Then there are other ones. You know, you know our work as far as uh, technical services is concerned. Our work is actually projects every day. 
But like you ask, the, the question you ask is major projects. You understand? Because what we do here is projects every day. Because the project, it comes with a starting point at the end. That's project. It's, it's not the same as the operation that is every day you keep on operating. So any time that uh, issues come up, you know, we quickly go and handle it. How do you manage cases of power infrastructure vandalism? The major thing we do is we come, we liaise with uh, the communities. We are those, uh, especially for transmission lines. You know, in that of transmission is a, is a major issue. In that of uh, source station is, is there, our security people are there, and so on and so forth. Well, the vandalism we get mostly is on transmission lines. So what we do is to engage the people where the transmission line trespasses. So that is one. In the second world is that we are not living ourselves just like that. You know, uh, what I mean is that if you don't patrol the line, you are creating a situation where people think that anything can go. So we try to do that. We try to encourage our boys to just be moving out. You know, then uh, again, the police, police, uh, civil defense, and all that. We also we also in good relationship with them. There are also reported cases of right of way encroachments. How does this scene tackle this? In our transmission lines and all those places they are encroaching. They think that that place is free. It's a free land and that nothing is happening there. But I use this opportunity to tell fellow Nigerians that that place is not free. Number one is that uh, uh, electromagnetic wave is there. It's not, it's not a, a place that is in a vacuum. So for us, in the industry, in this utility industry, to say, do not go there and stay every time, every moment, taking your building, your house, or your, your trading on, you know, under it. You are causing trouble unto yourself. Giving you an example, you know, if you, if you go to hospital, for instance, and they are doing the x-ray, at times they protect other parts of the body to allow that x-ray to move into what they want. And the electromagnetic wave is in that form. Officials in the region have had training on the service level agreements. How will this impact on its performance? This uh, SLA, you know, service level agreement. It is all the TCN. And that the project that are uh, SLA based, they give you time where you deliver. You know, and we are keyed into that. As we wrap up this edition, here are the headlines again. Minister of Power Engineer Salim Maman lots reduction in price of gas to power. TCN trains another batch of electrical maintenance engineers. TCN rehabilitates power transformers at Opela substation in Edo State. We brought to you an interview session with the Regional Transmission Manager of Enugu Region at TCN, Engineer Emmanuel Wane, where he highlighted the operational activities of TCN across Enugu and seven other states. We appreciate you as you always keep a date with the power circuit. This episode and all others are readily accessible with just a click on the TCN YouTube channel. Keep supporting TCN through these platforms so that together the company can advance its mandate of delivering bulk electricity nationwide. Ensure you take the COVID-19 preventive protocols seriously as there are reported cases of the outbreak of the new Delta variant in Nigeria. I am Amara Agugoisi. Enjoy the rest of the day.